town and I'm pulling up Ready for anything, anyone Know that I get it done In the bands, I be pulling up Tell your friends, cause I'm pulling up Ready or not, I be pulling up Remember they said I'm not good enough Hey everybody, welcome to another NBA Live 19 franchise video with the Phoenix Suns franchise. Taking on the LA LeBrons in the first round of the playoffs. And we are going to try to run them out of this arena. And it looks like we're going to succeed here in game number one quite easily. As we take a look at the scoreboard, LeBron James 29 points, Brandon Ingram 24 points, Kuzma with 19 and 10, the only double-double of the game for the Lakers. For us, 37 points, 9 rebounds for Ayton, 22 and 11 for Casey McCoon, 18 for Burris, 16 for Triple J, 15 for Booker, and 12 points, 22 assists for Murray. Now game number two, Lakers off to a fast start, and they hold the lead for most of this game. And we jump in, but there's not much we're really able to do. LeBron James plays really well, 27 points, 25 for Kuzma, 20 and 11 for Ignu, 13 and 10 for Alonzo Ball. So they outplay our boys, Booker, with 30, 25 and 13 for eight and 18 for McCoon, 14 and 17 for Murray. Triple J, nowhere to be found in that game as 117 to 112 it goes. Now we go to Lakerland, and we are going to try to take control of the Staples Center tonight. And we do win it, 98 to 90. LeBron James had 25 and 11. And then after that, it was a sea of 13, 12, 12, and 11 for the rest of the starting five for the Lakers. Now we go to Phoenix. 31 points for Devin Booker, 22 and 11 for Aiton, 18 for Murray, 10 for Keon Burris, and 9 for Triple J. As we move on to the next game. Game number four here at the Staples Center in a 2-1 to one series as we are going to try once again to take control of the Staples Center and we're able to do so. So we do get the win there. LeBron with 24. 15-12 and 12 for Kuzma. 14 for Hart. 13-10 and 10 for Brandon Ingram and 10 for Agnew. For our sons, it is DeAndre Ayton with 22 and 17. Huge game for him. 22 and 10 for McCoon, 21 for Booker, 16 for Triple J, and 12 and 12 as far as points and assists for Murray. Now we move into a possible closeout game here at home if we can get it. Then we will win the series in five, which will be optimal. And we are up three points, and there is a nice move and fade away by Devin Booker, making us up five, and then a big outside shot. Going to get hit there for three. That's going to bring it to within two once more, but Booker brings it inside with a less than a minute and a half to go. And then another big three right there. That's Eric Gordon knocking that down. It's a one-point game until Brian is able to get inside and get us some points off the bench. 107-104 right now. Another outside shot and another big-time make for Eric Gordon. He has 11 points, and a lot of them are pretty recent. And then Booker going to come inside and get the bucket and give us the lead with just series and end this one here. 21 points for Ingram, 17 for Agnew, 16 for LeBron with 10 boards, 14 for Kuzma with 12 boards. And then for us, it's 30 and 14 for eight and 22 for Triple J, 22 for Booker, 14 for McCoon. As we'll win that by two. And now we are going to take on the Sacramento Kings. They have been all over us in this series ever since they picked up Kevin Durant. With Marvin Bagley, with Kali Stein, it's a tough team to play with Buddy Heald and all the gang. They've got young talent, they've got old savvy veterans. Tough team to play, and this is a really close game coming down the stretch, so 
Would we take it? We will find out. 32 points from Devin Booker, 30 from Triple J, 22 and 11 from Aiton, 15 and 15 from Jamal Murray. For them, it would be 29 and 13 for Bagley, 19 for Heald, 16 for Smart, 13 for Isaac, and only 10 for Kevin Durant. Guess who is waning? But we would win this one 118 to 106. So up 1 0 going. up a game to none and it would be 101 to take control here and there is a nice made shot by Murray it'll be 101 to 100 now they're outside and then another miss and that's going to be corralled by us McCoon's going to have it he's going to pass it outside Booker for three and it's a 103-101 game just like that with 107 to go. Kevin Durant going to get it off the bounce to tie the ball game here. Now inside, Booker is going to get the bucket. 105-103. And then another big play by Durant on the dunk. Ties the game, but then with 1.3 and .9 seconds on the clock, it is Triple J getting it done. And that would be the game winner. 35 for Devin Booker, 21 for McCoon, 21 for Jaron Jackson Jr., 16 for Aiton. Murray only had three points but 12 assists. 36, 10, and 7 for KD. He did everything he could to try to keep them in this one. 20 points for Isaac, 17 for Bagley. But we would take this game really barely and now move into Sacramento for another one as Sacramento taking another lead here into the fourth quarter, but a really close game. So we're going to jump in. We're down a point in this one coming inside for the bucket is Jamal Murray. Now we're up by a point, a singular point. And then the pass inside. And that's a nice play over to Bagley. They'll take the lead by a point. And then Murray going to do work again as he gets to the rack. 117, 116, and another good inside play. That is Sam Westmoreland. Now we're tied at 120, and Murray doing some work again inside of a minute to go. 122 to 120, and there's a nice rebound by Triplett. Going to be passed over to Jamal Murray. Murray's going to push it inside, pass it out to Booker, nails the two. The long two, and now a four-point game. It would end as a seven-point game. And we take the win. 34 and 12 for Aiton. 25 for Booker. 21 and 15 for Jamal Murray. Huge game for him. Only 11 for McCoon, but he only played 13 minutes. 10 for Bodanovich coming in instead of McCoon. Bagley had 40 and 10. And it just was not enough to get it done tonight. Now, Sacramento Kings. Here we go. Can we take them down? Here in Sacramento. I believe this is game four. And I believe it's a 3-1 lead for us. But. Let's see what happened here. DeAndre Ayton put 42 and 13 up there. 15 for Booker. 15 and 11 for Murray. And 10 for McCoon. Who played in 31 minutes after missing some time last game. Kevin Durant had 34 and 10. 22 for Isaac. 20 and 10 for Bagley. 13 for Smart. Or 10 for Smart that is. Oh, here we go. One more game to close out the series. Can we do it? As it is a 3-1 series at the moment. Okay, and it looks like we're going to get it done easily enough in simulation. 104 to 91. It is going to be 25 and 14 for Casey McCoon, 22 for Booker, 20 for Triple J, 14 and 14 for Aiton, and 11 and 11 for Jamal Murray. Look at those doubles. If it was Monopoly, they'd be winning. 28 and 13 for Bagley, 20 for KD, 15 for Isaac, 11 for Cully Stein, 6 and 10 for Marcus Smart. And we will take down the big bag Sacramento Kings. And we're going to face the number two seeded Denver Nuggets, who have a lot of talent on their team, for a trip to go to the NBA Finals with either the Sixers or the Celtics. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Who do you think makes the finals? What is the matchup? Let me know. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe on your way out. Plenty more coming your way. Thank you.